All right, I'm going to try to explain a little bit about these floors and uh, foundations, crawl spaces. I don't have a 100% understanding of this myself because everything I do is uh, generally on a slab. Um, I built a, just a one-room structure here, and I'm going to go up here. Oh, I'm I'm working in Chief Premier, but. Uh, Pro is the, just the same with all this stuff. So I'm going to go up here and build foundation. And the first thing I'm going to do is check walls with footings. I'm going to automatically rebuild. And then I don't want a slab. I know this is, this is, uh, the default for this is four. But I don't want a slab. I just, I'm building a crawl space. It's got a dirt floor or, or, you know, doesn't have a slab, so I'm going to zero this out. And then uh, I'm going to just leave the default stem wall at 6 inch concrete. And then the minimum height, that's kind of a goofy term, minimum height, but um, you said you wanted 36 inches. Well, chief includes the inch and a half sill plate. So the setting here is 37 and a half, so I'm going to leave that set. And we're not building a garage, so I'm going to ignore this stuff down here, and I'm going to say OK. And then here's our foundation that gets built, and I'm going to double click here. And then we're going to look at this for a minute. Now you're asking about the uh, 12 and 5 eighths or something. Well, that's that's the depth of the standard floor structure right here. Um, now it it you've got five and a half inches over here because it says flat ceiling over this room. I'm gonna uncheck that and that five and a half is gonna go away. So now what we're looking at here is you've got the, the upper floor, your main floor here and, and your crawl space down here. Chief works off the first floor subfloor. So that's zero. And then you've got your um your floor structure, which is 12 and 5 eighths. And then you've got your crawl space depth, which is 36 plus your inch and a half. Yep, you can scroll, you can use your scroll, your mouse scroll wheel and zoom in and out here so you can see this stuff. You can pan around. You can use these things up here to, to do, you know, you can change the way it looks. So you've got 37 and a half inches. That's stem wall 36 inches plus an inch and a half for your your plate up here. So now I'm going to go back up to the first floor, and we'll do the same thing there. Shows pretty much the same thing. Um, floor below. That's that's what it thinks. It's calling the four below is right here, minus fifteen and eighth. If you start right here at four zero and you go down and you add up all these figures over here, you're going to get fifty and, and an eighth. Um, ceiling below, stem wall. Um, These don't always make sense to me, but if you click on them, if you click in this box right here, it highlights what it's talking about over here in red. So stem wall, there's your stem wall height. Ceiling below, that tells you how, how high the ceiling is. So you have a floor right here, and you have the ceiling height right here. So that's your ceiling below. The thing is, the program is set up. It doesn't know whether you're going to build a, a basement or a crawl space or what. So it's set up to, to, you know, its terminology is set up sort of in a generic way. Um, 
because lots of people, if you're building a basement, lots of people are going to put the basement on floor zero. You don't have to. You can make your basement on floor one, and you can create your foundation structure, your footings, and whatever else you need on floor zero. There's there's multiple ways of doing this, but the but the program is set up to accommodate a bunch of different ways. And like David was saying, you sort of have to to understand more than what you should to uh, to be able to do this. But if you just look at these diagrams and and think about, you know, like I said, you can click on these these deals. I clicked on this finished ceiling thing right here, and it highlights what what you're looking at. This is really nice. This is new in uh, in the 2020 version of Pro. So anyway, maybe that'll make a little bit more sense. The other thing that you can always do, and people don't sometimes think about this, is you can draw your own foundation. You know, you don't have to build a foundation with, you know, you don't have to, when you want a foundation, you don't have to go to build or use this icon here. You don't have to go over here and click build foundation. You can just create a blank uh, floor zero and draw walls that you want. You know, you've got you've got all these different wall types over here. You've got a um, slab footing, which would be used for slabs. You've got straight foundation wall. So I can go down here to four zero, and I can choose this straight foundation wall tool. Turn off auto rebuild. And I can draw a foundation just like I want. And then I can open this room up. And if I want this uh if I want the ceiling height or the floor height to be different, I can change that. I can go up here. Let's say I want it ninety six inches. I can change things. I'll say OK. And then we'll go over here and look at a full overview. And there's there's those there's the foundation walls I just drew. See, it's 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 frustrating to me because it's maybe that's what I want. Yep, see, it keeps changing these. This is what's frustrating to me because these values keep changing. You'll set one and then and then you'll do something else and everything changes. Let's see what that did. I don't think it did anything. Nope, it did. So somehow we got it. We got it moved down. But see, I'm 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 just winging it. If I stopped and thought about it, I think I could I could put this wherever I wanted. But anyway, maybe that that little explanation will help. Just look at the pro what the program's doing and think about think about the numbers it gives you and use those uh, use this this diagram over here. This is much much better than it used to be. The 2019 products didn't have this. Um, it was completely different. This is far better.